Hello beauties, welcome to my channel after a very long hiatus. It is the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere, also referred to as the Sabbath Ostara. This equinox, I am making an offering to give back to the earth. I'm starting by lighting a white candle. This one is an anointed evil eye candle to protect my ritual space from negative energy. I'm beginning with some breath work to clear my mind and prepare the ritual. Grabbing some essential oil spray to lift my mood and prep my space for cleansing. Then taking my braided lemongrass, which is a powerful cleanser for dispelling feelings of despair and stagnancy, I clear my energy and cast my circle. The box of stars holds my secrets, holds the truth. I'm the Renaissance man. I'm the reflection of youth. I wrote this couplet a few years ago in a poem about my craft. Maybe I'll share it with you guys in a future video if you guys are interested in that. Then grabbing some crystals to put in my offering, I chose pieces of a clear quartz geode and amethyst for amplification and intuition. Cleansing the vial and taking some rose petals for attraction, love, and gratitude, using my mortar and pestle to crush them up. Then taking a bay leaf and writing my main intention on it. I then light it to symbolize letting it go, adding it to the remains of my crushed rose petals. including some lavender to promote peace, healing, and spiritual growth. Joining all of my intentions for this equinox together, I then seal this offering off camera. Where? Oh yeah. Ostara, the beginning of spring, one of two days in the year where day and night are in perfect balance with one another. Everything is vibrant and growing, the sun is returning and the days are getting longer. A new season, a fresh start. I would be lying if I said I wasn't desperate for a new beginning. Winter has been a long one, with equal highs and lows. I've felt incredibly stagnant, while always remaining hopeful. 
making this my virtual diary to express all my creative energy that I've had bottled up for months, propelling me to connect with nature, with my family, anything but the monotonous, bed rotting, doom scrolling, depressive cycle I've been stuck in. I am determined to feel whole again. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh my gosh. What? A little dragonfly just like almost flew into my face. I think I got it on camera. And that's my spirit animal. I'm gonna cry actually. <laughs> sun to finally come back. I hope um, this inspires you to do something in nature this week to celebrate the sun returning. Josh and I are in my favorite place in the world. It's a canyon close by to us. I love this canyon so much. It's always been a place I've gone to for comfort. It's the first place I drove to when I got my license. I love nature so much. Nature is so healing and so important to me. Josh and I have been finding a lot of trash around this spot, which makes me so sad because we need to respect nature. So Josh and I are going to pick up a couple pieces and take it with us, but always leave places better than we have found. Josh and I are exploring new places. I've never seen this stream. I've never come into this part of the canyon before, so I'm excited to start exploring this community more because I've always, like I said, been in it. I've just never really ventured out as much as I would like to. My offering is just for the new start, the new beginning that Ostara is. It's very symbolic of new beginnings and warmth and experiences, new prosperity, rebirth in a sense. And I feel, I feel that very deeply with myself the longest winter and I don't really um, care for winter. And my offering is just a sign of respect and rejoice that the sun is returning. I'm excited. I'm excited for a new start, a new beginning. I'm gonna put a heart around it. that with 